The last few days, we've been on an expedition in the rainforest of Ecuador, and our goal was to take a portable lab into the field, sequence the DNA of an organism, and identify it to species in real time. So this was part of a National Geographic grant, and with a team of herpetologists here in Ecuador, our goal was to use a new portable sequencer. This is a device that was made by Oxford Nanopore Technologies. It's this really cool portable gene sequencer. We used some other equipment like the mini PCR, and overall we were able to take the bare bone elements of a laboratory and take it out into a very remote rainforest in Ecuador. And so why would we want to do this? Essentially, we are in a very biodiverse region of the planet, and we went to a region called Canande, which is in the Choco rainforest of Ecuador. And this region is highly diverse. There are lots of species that are known, some that are threatened, some that are undescribed. And so the problem is that this place is being deforested very rapidly. So there's a real time sensitivity to trying to understand the organisms that live there. There is a very strong need to actually preserve this biodiversity here. And so actually bringing the sequencer to the field uh, can save time. So we can, instead of like going out in the field, collecting the samples, bringing them back to a lab, having them send off to a different country for sequencing. This can take weeks and months, and in our case, it took less than 24 hours. It was a really exciting turnaround. We went out with our portable lab, and we found animals that night, like vipers, geckos, frogs, all of these amazing, diverse organisms. And so we were able to take a small amount of blood, extract DNA, use PCR amplification for certain genes that are used in identifying species, and then we sequenced it right then and there. So in less than 24 hours, we had received the information, the DNA information, that we could identify them to species accurately. And the cool thing is that you can even do the bioinformatics in the field. The only thing you need is a laptop. Uh, so it's very, very easy, very fast, and you get the actual sequence. You can even run a phylogeny or blast it against the database to see what species it is in the rainforest. And this has actually lots of uh, implications, not just for conservation, or for teaching people about the biodiversity in certain areas, but also for labs in countries like Ecuador, where all the sequencing technologies is not readily available. So if we can do it in the field, anyone can do it in the lab here. And so this technology really works well for scientists here uh, to apply it in the labs.